with the Inferno when that comes out. That should you be do really 30, interesting. Yeah. Or you could do okay. Oh, I think I, I, I. I think I got it. I think I beat you. But it all depends. I did go in earlier. I don't though. know what its health is at, so. There we go. Ah, yeah. Eight seconds. I knew it was going seconds. to be close. I knew it was going to be close. That's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's trade it in for the pets. Let's see what we get. A little bit of pet. A tame jet pet. Do you sound right to tame? Oh my god, it! Oh my goodness! Oh my god. <laughs> Jeff, there's no yell message. I need to add a yell message right away. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, I just got a Pegasian crystal from a mystery box. It says mystery box, but it wasn't from a mystery box. It was from a teak chest uh, four. Uh, just got the eternal flame, the smithing pit, and I'm rendering a video, so there's the logout. Where did I assume the bank? Yeah, there it is. Oh, nice. Um, thousand silver bars, and then I did about 900, 800 gold bars. I don't know the exact amount. Uh, yeah, got it. Pretty cool. Pretty stoked. This is what uh, the Eternal Flame Smithing Pet looks like. It's not the first one. I know that somebody else got it one earlier today, but I'm very happy to get it. Let's go. Just got burnt meat. So just got both of the new pets. That's awesome. Uh, let me show you this. Uh, how do I, let, me, let me flap this out here for you. I like this one. I like how fatty is. A little, little porker. He's got a little club and everything. Or a spoon. I think that's a spoon. Awesome. So that is, I believe, the sixth pet. Four right here. Seventh. Seventh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventh. Nice. This actually took a while. A while. I used a lot of resources for this bad boy. Um, also, I don't think I showed Elmo. I bought it for Dragon Claws and my Eternal Boots. Um, so, yeah, let me show you. I only I don't remember how much exactly I had. I think I had like 15. Well, we can check how many monkfish I have. Uh, I guess that really doesn't help. I know for a fact I did about 1,000 sharks and I did about six, 700 monkfish. So, uh, it took a little bit, but we still got it with way, way under the, uh, the rate. So, that's awesome. All right, so uh, Pep and uh, I guess Mather hooked me up with the last two pages I needed for uh, the uh, ancient book. So now that is all six books done. This was the last one I needed. Boom, all six books done. Awesome. Got the Heron Pet uh, right there. This message. Yeah, I only did like maybe five, six inventories. I just needed something to AFK to do. So that's pretty lucky. That's awesome. I really need to, like, take the time to change those around. <laughs> hey, just got the Scotizo pet. I swear, this video is just, like, all pets. I think there's, like, four or five pets already. That's awesome. I've actually been doing a little bit of bossing, trying to get up my kill counts to try to get some more loots to, to spread out the, uh, the, the, the video clips. But, uh, yeah, nice. That's awesome. We've got tons of pets. This one is pretty cool looking as well. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. I think Zammy's still number one, but I think this thing is two. This thing is pretty badass. It's like Zammy, but purple. Alright, so if we look through our bank, I should have a jar of darkness somewhere. There it is. So, yeah, I got these three jars. I don't know if I showed these two, but did get them. So I'll show you what you can do with jars. Some people might not know this. Um, you probably, if you've, if you've been watching my videos, I think I'm going to upload that video first, so you'll probably already have um, had a refresher on these, but... Uh, just in case, what you do is you go to Canifus, run up here, and basically you're going to be going to the old Chrome's house. And there should be a dude there who trades them in. Um, basically they give points, and the points are corresponding to kind of like what, what the jar is. The jar of darkness is slayer points. Um, the swamp gives scales. The Zora's give Zora scales. Excuse me. And then the, I think I'm going, yeah, when the... Oh no, we're, 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 we're good, we're good. <laughs> uh, Zora Scales, and then this one has uh, is vote points. So tied to him, and then you can see the, 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 the uh, thing, and obviously it's a random number, one through, you know, whatever. So let's go 3600, I can live with that, that's pretty good. I suppose, I'll take that. Sand, 10 vote points, that's fine right there. There is a voting title that's needed, so 
That's good. And then the last one, Slayer. There's a Slayer title as well, so... 187. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. I almost have the Slayer title. Cool. I didn't even notice that. Nice! I just got a pair of Ranger boots. Uh, spam, spam clicking clues. I don't have it uh, in this screen, but uh, that's pretty awesome right there. I actually have a couple more um, mediums to go, so just in case I'll record. No fucking way! <laughs> wow. That's crazy now everybody's mad. I, uh, that's, that's super awesome. Uh, if you're wondering, these boots aren't the same rate. They're close, but uh, not the same rate. We have three more. Yeah. That's pretty epic. Two ranger boots. That's very cool. And then also with that, we got the black trim set and the uh, bronze trim set. Something I've noticed, and I, I don't think the code um, should matter. I don't think the code is affecting this, but maybe it is. I have the adamant trim set. The mithril trim to set, the bronze trim to set, and the black trim to set. And then just missing, um, I thought I was just missing one thing for the iron, but I think maybe I'm missing two. Either way, that's interesting that I keep getting the, uh, the trim sets. I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're the exact same rate, so I guess that's just a weird coincidence. Alright, so I got, uh, three master caskets. See, I like those, but not enough to keep them in my bank. Decent stuff, just again, I don't. I just want the pet. That's all I really care about. I'm gonna show you the uh, the killerly counts. This is probably the rarest pet I know of. Two, I think. Um, S Smelly has one. Charles has one. Uh, maybe Dan. I'm not sure. Either way, uh, look at my kill counts, or my clue counts. Yeah, 20 master, 181 hard, 133 medium, and 93 easy. And it's available from all four now. I think probably a couple of the early ones, um, they, 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 it wasn't in there, but at least 150 plus. So this thing is just not wanting to happen. Alright, so there's a couple piats in game now, and uh, Matt managed to get one of them. I don't know if he got it from Zor or exactly how he got it, but he wanted to give it to me for free, but, you know, I don't like taking free things, so I uh, offered him some, some stuff. Awesome, purple party hat. That's cool. Uh, this is obviously the ultimate fashion scape. And, uh, yes, all the ultimate fashion scape. Alright, so I got uh, six master clues here. See if we can't snipe anything cool. Ancient Diad boots, that's pretty good. I think I already have a pair. But, uh, doesn't hurt to have two. It's like, cool clue. Although, most of it I'm gonna drop because I don't really care about collectibles. Sarah Diad boots is nice. Last one. Ha, <laughs> Katana. <laughs> not bad, so we got a ton of uniques and whatnot. Just, uh, nothing, nothing too fancy. Hey, I just got the Zami pet. Zami Pet is my favorite pet. He has gotten like almost all of the kills. If you scroll up, you see Kevin everywhere, uh, and I, uh, I just, uh, I just managed to snipe one of these. And uh, yeah, awesome. That is my favorite pet. That is, that is bad. Look, look, look at them next to each other. That's adorable. This got little babies. That's cool. If there was any pet I would want, obviously it's that one. That is definitely my favorite. So, that is pretty badass right there. I'm gonna have to look into something real quick. It looks like it's. Um, it looks like it's not following me correctly. I'll have to check that out. But, uh, yeah, I know this video has been mostly pets, but that's kind of the whole point of the series. The goal was comp cape and then all pets. So, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Hey, I, I got a second one. I got two Zami pets and just 54 kill count. I don't even have, like, an item. I think when I first came here, I ended up getting, like, a Staff of the Dead or something like that. Um, but I haven't gotten an item since. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Second pet. It's definitely a cool one to have multiples of. Hey, I just got the crafting pet. Um, yeah, I've been going for this pet for quite a while. I've been AFKing it, and uh, as you can see, 38 mil experience. I started off pretty much exactly at, at 13 mil or whatever 99 is. So that's awesome. Really cool pet. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it's the wool. Um, whenever you have a pet, there has to be like an item icon that summons it, and I uh, wasn't too happy with that. I wish it were I wish I was good at like making them. I know some people know how to make them. Like they they could take the 
the uh, the monster and whatnot and do it. But not me, not good. But uh, yeah, that's cool. It's another pet. It's an awesome one to get. I like this one. It is actually somewhat rare. It's more rare than most pets. Um, a lot of pets are around one in four k or one in five k. This one is one in six k. So not much more rare, but it is. Hell yeah! I just got the choppy chick. Let's go. I was just telling them a nice little pro tip, which I guess I'm going to give to you now, that uh, Ring of Wealth eyes are going to be useful in invention. And I get the freaking pet. That's awesome. I am pretty dry for this one. Uh, 26 mil from 13 mil, so I essentially got 99 again. Um, let me see how many uh, bows that is. 12, uh, 1200 U, and then I also did 1200 Magic. And then I also did some Dragon Darts, so... Uh, yeah, that definitely wasn't an easy pet, and it, it does make sense because this pet is actually one of the, the more rare pets. It's one in 7,000, um, and the reason I made it so easy is because I feel like fletching is a much easier skill with dart tips. Um, you can do dart tips um, you, when, you, when you make them. I think it just goes and goes until it finishes the entire stack, and you can get dart tips through the rare drop table. So I made this one one in 7,000, and uh, fire making is also one in 7,000, and um, um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked to get that one. Hey, nice! I just got a rapier. That's pretty cool. These things are, uh, from what I can tell, pretty overpowered. Although I did nerf it recently, and apparently the nerf was good. Uh, let's check this thing out for a little bit. Got a couple more keys. That's awesome. That's cool. Even if I don't end up wanting it, I'm sure it's got some pretty decent trade bait value. So... It definitely seems more balanced, because I, I believe before, like in max gear, you could hit like just constant 30s. So it definitely seems more balanced. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where it, it existed on DA for quite a while, and um, it was a little kind of it was kind of too overpowered. So it's it's been changed around a fair bit. So we'll have to we'll have to work on it. It's on the it was on the to do list before. Actually, you know what? I never added it to the to, -do, to, -do, to the to do list. But uh, now that I have it, you know for a fact it's getting added. <laughs> Alright, so I got five masters. Let's see what we can't get here. Mr. Box. Katana. No. Let's see what we get from these. Maybe we'll clutch out something crazy. No. I probably should keep some of these items because I know inventions coming out soon and clue items will have pretty decent uses. I just don't know if I want to waste the bank space. I think I might just wait until the uh, invention does actually come out. That way I can sort of like trim it all into components.